Hi and welcome back to the coffee vanners. So here we are. We're on the drive and the first vlog from inside Baby Bailey. Yeah, interesting. It's lovely. Fabulous little outfit. Should do us grand for a good few years. But in this uh, in this vlog, I wanted to talk to you about a few little, I won't say issues or problems, but a few things we've been a bit concerned about since we since we actually went out and put the deposit down on the van. I won't mention the dealers because they're uh, we're so thinking so highly of them that the sticker they put on the front of the van to say uh, was from them and it's got the number for the service and the like has been uh, ripped off and thrown in the bin to be honest. So yeah we so we put the deposit down on the van uh, and that was straightforward enough would like the van yeah okay there's deposit okay it's fixed we'll we'll sort out the money and uh, we'll get you paid and get the van PDI'd and handed over and that's that was that uh, but we we're expecting a bit more there was no offer to us once would would pay for the van it was all sorted uh, they put it in for a PDI uh, but there was no offer of do you want aqua rolls do you want a water pump do you you know that we were actually we were actually relieved that they actually provided us with a with a handle to lift the steadies up uh, we got absolutely nothing with the van other than what we managed to coax out of them so what we got was the ledger battery that was already on so we've no idea what state it's in it's showing okay as far as volts are concerned uh, and it's doing its job so far that we can that we can see you know the lights the lights are on and uh, it seems to be sticking uh, pretty much around about the 13 volt mark we got so we got the old ledger battery that was on because they were actually going to take it off and throw it away we then uh, managed to talk them, they said they'd provide us with a step, with a hook up cable and a, a steady handle. Uh, so that, that was really the three things and we did manage to talk them into a used water pump. But other than that we got nothing, nothing with it and not even the offer of some sort of beginner's pack. So we've had to go out and and find ourselves aqua rolls, the waste master, uh, even the pipes. I've had to order off eBay to connect to the side of the van to go into the waste master. So that was that was a bit disappointing. Um, so we got a little uh, we got a little detail about what they were doing with the PDI as far as the gas techs and electricity and all the rest of it. General general look around the van, but we didn't. Uh, we didn't, when we picked it, pick it up, get an electrical cert, we didn't get a gas cert, we didn't get a damp report, we haven't even got a PDI sheet, to be honest, to tick boxes of what they've done and what they haven't done. Um, so we're, we're kind of, that's it, you know, you've got the van. Uh, we just hope it's okay. Um, and we'll hopefully bump into some more seasons caravanners that can give us a li little bit more help and advice to uh, for things to look at. And obviously, we'll, we've got YouTube and you great people out there, uh, and other YouTubers to uh, to follow and and get some advice from. So th that was that, which was uh, yeah, a, a bit of a downer really, because Ali Ali got up and she was so excited, and we, you know, I said to her, "We all can't go yet. I've got to get the wet and dry out. I've got to polish the tow ball and and get everything sorted before we go. Make sure the mirrors are, are all lined up and things like that." So yeah that's that right moving on moving on what's the plans uh right the plan the plans are we've got our first site booked for next week and we're just going away for two nights it's a site that's fairly local um it's out of the camping and motorhome club book as a member owned cl and we thought that was really important uh that we didn't go too far was the first thing to give it its first little outing just in case there's anything we do forget uh, but there's been some good YouTube videos out there about what we need uh, so we're gonna you know we're slowly stocking up on on the bits and we'll hopefully be able to go away for 48 hours and not have too many problems uh, I've still got the gas to connect uh, that was, oh, they give us a pigtail as well at the dealer uh, which we weren't expecting either but it was in the van when we went to pick it up 
So that's 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 all that's really left to do with the van. So yeah, we're going away. It's going to be 48 hours, not a million miles away. And it's CL site. It's got electric hookup. There's no toilet, so that'll be a chance to for us to see if the toilet in the van's working uh, and doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, how how well or how hard it will get used, I don't know, because uh, like I said, we're not far from home, uh, so we may. Uh, we may just uh, be giving it some light use, so to speak. We'll, uh, we'll wait and see when the time comes. Um, and after that, we've looked at the holidays that we've got left from work for the rest of the year. So we're hopefully gonna maybe get another four weekend, long weekend type things in before, before, the, uh, before the winter. As far as keeping the van on the drive over the winter or whether we'll put it into storage our thoughts are at the moment that we will maybe even go away between Christmas and New Year and dependent on the weather will be to use the van all the way through and get our maximum use out of it uh, it will also give us a chance to you know really get to know the van before Ali wants to go away next summer uh, for at least a week maybe longer into Europe and that obviously depends on the Covid situation so that's that's kind of the plans moving forward the channel is going to we've decided to divide into two real bits uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing the hints tips tricks hacks type videos it's it's not my sort of thing I don't think although I may video when I do little jobs on the van but that'll be just me uh, d trying to fix things up or, or put things right and obviously that'll be looking for comments to uh, to give me some better tips on how to do things and and Twitter will be the same uh, you know it's really just a uh, a community thing to, to the 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 value that we've gained from the youtubers that are already out there and the community on Twitter has has really give us uh, some real enthusiasm to using uh, the Motor Home and Caravan, start again, Motor Home and Caravanning Club to its uh, full potential. So that, that's uh, that's that. Right. Uh, last last but not least, yeah, the, the value the value of YouTube. It's uh, it's been great that there's been some real important things that we need to consider, and the first is the is hygiene. And the the van it, the van itself has been a hygienic space and a place where we can live, and hopefully not pick any pick up any any sort of bug nasties from. Um, and of course that involves the fridge, the cooker, the toilet, the water heater, uh, and the and the general water system. So it was disappointing when I got home yesterday with the van. We put it on the drive. To find that the hot water system, or in fact the whole water system, hadn't been drained down after the PDI. So I'm starting to wonder: has the van really been given as good a coat of looking at as as we really were expecting from the place we bought it? Um, and I'm not 100% sure because when Ali was starting to look at putting her little bits and bobs and thingies in the in the cupboards and uh, making the bed up. We found that we we did have to do quite a bit of cleaning to uh, to make it look something like in certain areas. And I think even the cupboards don't look like they've been wiped out or sanitised in any way, shape, or form. Although the carpets have definitely been washed and they've put uh, they put plastic over them uh, while it was on, while it was on display. So yeah, there's been some good things, been some bad things. Uh, but getting back to YouTube. First job, Pure Clean. Thanks very much uh, to Dan uh, for uh, going through the the process because uh, I'm not convinced that the water system is clean. We do intend to drink the water uh, that comes out of the tap, whether that be through the coffee maker, the kettle, or or just for mixing up juice and the like. So I want to make sure it's absolutely 100%. So today it's put that into the system, fill it up and uh, and leave it there for a good four to eight hours. And I may even do it twice just to be 100% sure because uh, I think that's the most important. The second one is I really want to make sure that the toilet's up to spec 
uh, so that will be taking the cassette out, giving it a good clean inside and out and maybe even replacing the seals if that's what's needed. Um, and the bathroom itself is going to have to be uh, properly clean top to bottom because it's it's clean but it's not it's not how you would have it in your own home and certainly not we what we think is uh, to a, to a good standard. Anyway, that's over uh, what ten minutes of rambling on. The videos going forward, like I said, are going to be a mixture of this chit chat vlog type thing and the site stuff. Uh, for anyone that follows me on uh, Twitter. Again, we're, we're the caravanners, or the coffee vanners, should I say. And I've also got the Instagram account, which is Al's World in 360, because my other hobby is 360 photography and general bits. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not an amateur photographer by any way, shape or form. Uh, the camera I'm, I'm filming this on is a little EOS 700D which uh, is a good few years old now but it does the job it's a nice little camera still only got the stock lens only ever had the stock lens on it uh, but it's a nice little it's a nice little thing and easy to carry around and use for videoing but i do have the insta 361x uh, and since insta 360 released the 1r earlier this year and we got the updated app i'm doing a little bit more with the 360 photography so on my instagram is also quite a lot of stuff with tiny planets uh, and, and other bits and bobs so I'm going to draw it to a close I need to go and get some cleaning fluid into these pipes I need to do some work outside it wasn't even washed outside so I've got black marks and streaks all the way down the van so to be honest I've got a full day of uh, cleaning good eh right that's it so till next time you take it easy take care might catch up with one or two on the sides now we're, now we're getting out and about and uh, look forward uh, to catching up with you in the next one see you later